Hello Cecil County and the world. This is Cecil TV and this is 30 at 6. It's October 1st. I'm Rob Churnside and Allison Donnelly will be back with us next week. She's on special assignment this week. I myself will be on special assignment next week, but we'll get the next week hopefully when we get there. I'd like to tell you that this is October 1st, the start of October, Fire Prevention Month all month long. It's Shelter Pet Adoption Month. And of course, as everyone knows, it's the month of Halloween, which pretty much stretches out for the entire month. We have a special announcement about Halloween for you. We're having a Halloween decoration contest here at Cecil TV with big prizes, an array of gift cards provided by Grand Prize, provided by Lowe's of Northeast. Also gift cards from Granite Run Tap Room and Northeast Chocolates. You're probably wondering, how do I enter? Well, you simply enter by taking a 15 second video of your display, your Halloween display at your house or business, and sending it to us at info at Cecil TV, that's via computer, and furnishing also a contact number and your name, and that way we'll judge these videos that people send in, and there is a deadline, October the 24th, that's one week before Halloween, and we'll announce the winner on our show, October 29th, right here at 30 at 6. More details will be forthcoming, but mark down, info at Cecil TV, and take, put, get your decorations up and take a video of them and send it to us and we will show them on TV and select a winner for gift cards from local businesses. Now, let's get into the news. Election day is November 6th. Cecil County voters will have several choices to make in the ballot box. You can register to vote online, by mail or in person. The deadline for registering to vote online or by mail is October 16th. And the deadline for registering to vote in person is November 1st. Governor Larry Hogan last week announced a new parental leave policy for Maryland state employees, which will provide up to an additional 60 days of paid leave following the birth or adoption of a child under six years old. The new policy is part of Senate Bill 859, which was passed by the General Assembly this year and signed by Governor Hogan. It takes effect October 1st. Fall harvesting season is upon us. The Maryland Departments of Transportation and Agriculture, as well as the Maryland Farm Bureau, urge drivers to use caution when approaching farm vehicles and equipment, especially on rural roads. Good idea. And now, more good ideas. Words from our sponsors.